What's up guys, JCM here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 20 player review. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 87 rated Baby Kaka card. Now personally, in my opinion, I do think he should be high rated. Even his prime icon is only 91. Um, so I really do think, you know, he should be a lot higher. Um, but this is the 87 rated. Looking at some of the stats now, not too bad. The 88 pace, the 80 dribbling, 80 shooting and 83 passing. Now this guy's long shots should be way higher and he's shooting in general even on this 87 rated card. Dribbling I think is about right um, and then he has the 81 stamina and 71 strength. Now even though he has 81 stamina I did find it a problem um, especially towards you know the later stages of the game. He gets tired very quickly um, so that's one thing you have to look out for. And then the thing I did like about him though he is 6 foot 1 so he's pretty tall and he has a lot of pace to him. That 90 acceleration uh, what did go up to 99 with the chem style on he has the 87 sprint speed um, and again that went up to 97 so he's fast and he's tall and he has great dribbling so when it comes down to skilling um he's making very easy and a very sort of different compared to a lot of skillers you know usually the smaller more agile quick players um, but with kakari he's pretty tall um passing there not too bad you know free kicks at 74 again i do think they should be higher um long pass at 75 again just way too low 83 curve they're not too bad but even again it should be you know like 88 89 but anyway guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so starting off the highlights now for 87 rated Kaka. The first pro I could find with this card was his ball control. Now he keeps the ball so so close to his feet and it is actually his key stat um, at 91. So he has great ball control, um, you know, great first touch, great at dribbling and keeping it close to him. Um, great in tight spaces and great at turning. What I also think has something to do with his agility, um, but I think the ball control does play a big part in it. So, you know, he's really smooth um, when it comes down to dribbling. He just glides across the pitch and that's one thing that I do like i think a card has a very similar um dribbling style to him you know he just glides across the pitch what is very nice when it comes down to skilling the next pro as i've already mentioned is his height now he's six foot one um you know you don't really have a lot of tall players who are fast on fifa you know you've got your ronaldo's um, and even that Balassi card, you know, he's pretty tall and fast. But apart from that, you don't really have too many options. Um, so it's just a bit weird and a bit of a change, you know, looking at a tall player who is fast, agile and has good dribbling. And also when it comes to winning headers as well, that just give him an advantage over smaller players and smaller skillers. And then the final pro with this card, and this was probably the selling point, was this guy's acceleration. He's absolutely rapid off the mark. Um, his sprint speed was pretty good as well. And he's one of those players who's deceivingly fast, you know, you look at him and you don't think he's moving too fast but then you look at players trying to catch up to him and you realize you know how fast he actually is um so very fast player on fifa but again i do think he should be even faster um because you know back in his day kaka was absolutely rapid and then the only con I could find with this card was his stamina. Now, 81 isn't too bad, um, you know, looking at it, but it just seemed to be in the red zone a lot of the time, especially, you know, after the 70th minute. Um, so that's one thing to look out for. And he definitely can play all game, but, um, you know, towards the later stages of the game, I'd recommend to sub him off, you know, for someone more fresh. Um, and you are going to be paying around 500 to 600k for this card. So it is quite expensive for a player. You're probably going to have to sub off. Um, so that is one of the major downsides downsides he's got the five star skill moves as you already know and the four star weak foot um again you know he can finish pretty comfortably on the left foot um and he can obviously finish it nicely on the right foot i think his finishing in general though wasn't the greatest um his long shots were okay his finishing was okay and his shooting was okay in general but nothing too insane um one thing i did actually really like about this card though was his volleys um i found him very similar to zidane in that sense you know he's got a really good technique when hitting the ball on the volley but his shooting in general was a bit disappointing if I am being honest um, passing not too bad you know for a cam I would actually expect more especially for um, you know a Kaka card but again this is only his baby version so he's 91 um, does have a lot more passing in the right areas so overall, I would say this card is overpriced and I was a bit disappointed in him, but um, you know, he still isn't a bad card, like he isn't terrible, he's just okay, but for 500k, you don't really want an okay player. Um, so personally, I wouldn't really recommend to pick up this card, I think there are a lot better options on the market. But anyway guys, this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. 
So moving into the overview now for this 87 rated Kaka, on the enjoyment scale I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10, as I already mentioned, um, I like AC Milan as a club and you know historically they had a lot of 5 star scalers, so back in the day in like FIFA 10, FIFA 11, when he used to play FIFA on the PSP, he always used to play with AC Milan um, for that reason, you, know, you had players like Ibra, um, I know the Al Shirari, you know those type of players. Um, so I've always had sort of that connection to AC Milan in a way, you know, um, as I'm a skiller myself. But overall, I would definitely consider this card a letdown. When it comes down to the competitiveness scale, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Um, the reason it isn't any higher is just because the finishing isn't the best. You know, it's not terrible, um, but in foot champs, you want to make sure you're clinical. And then the stamina is a big con to this card. Skilling, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. You know, an okay skiller um, overall, you know, nothing too insane like Neymar. Um, and the Balassi card I did try out, but you know, he still is decent and when it comes down to scaling. So I think a fair overall rating is a 7.3 out of 10. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more FIFA 20 player reviews on my channel, leave a like on the video and subscribe. I will hopefully have some tutorials out um, within the next few weeks. So make sure you are subscribed if you like that sort of content as well. So thanks for watching and see you next time.